Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a look featuring the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Ooh. So, this is the look. Let me see. That's the look right there. So, let's get started. Okay, the first step is to apply on my base, which today I am using Lane Low Paint Pot from MAC which is just a creamy neutral base and you can use any base you like you can even just use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and be done but I find that a base helps with um, intensifying the colors so I'm just using the Urban the um, Sony Kasha Dome Blender brush to apply this all over my lid and into my crease okay so the first color we're going to take from the palette is this shimmery one here virgin Let's see if you can get a close-up of that which is a nice um, light champagne color and I'm gonna go in with my um whoops my MAC 239 brush and just pick some of that up onto the brush Ooh, can you see me onto the brush and I'm gonna apply that right on the inner corner with just press that into the inner corner. I'm not going too high into the crease because I don't want too much shimmer up there. So just right on the inner corner and inner lid like that. Then I'm going to flip the brush over and I'm going to grab ooh, Half Baked which is a shimmery golden color and it's available in single eyeshadows as well and um, the MAC equivalent would be I'd say amber lights so I'm just picking that up on my 239 again on the other side and pressing it onto the middle of my lid and sweeping it over into that virgin color just to blend the two so we should have that next I'm going to actually pick up Buck, Buck Naked, um, Buck which is a darker brown neutral color. So I'm going to take that up with my 252, just a large shader brush. Just going to press it in just once. And um, what I'm going to do is apply it on my brow bone and it's going to help to blend out where the lid colors meet the brow, well, the brow bone area. So you won't have that harsh line of shimmer and this is a matte color so that's why I'm using it because it will keep my brow bone area somewhat matte so that's what we'll have and I just sweep it right across the brow bone area and I'm gonna apply my highlight now just to say to just to because I'm doing matte colors right now and I'm gonna go in with naked where is it yeah so buck naked yeah Naked, which is also a nude color, but it's much lighter than Buck, as you can see. And get that right onto the tip of my 252, and run that right along my brow bone area. Now I'm using matte colors as my highlight and my brow bone color, because I'm using a lot of shimmer on the lid. So let's continue with the lid colors. Um, I'm going to take Smog. Yeah, smog, and it's right next to that half baked color. It's a darker, um, taupey, very shimmery taupe color. And I'm going to apply that with my 217 blender brush, any blender brush. And I'm just getting it on the tip and applying it on the outer lid area, sweeping it in to the half baked and sweeping it up into my crease and onto the brow bone, like that. So it deepens up that outer lid area and the crease. Now to even deepen that up some more, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Hustle and a little bit of Creep. So I'm taking the 217, I'm just going to dab it into the Hustle, dab it into the Creep. Just to get that dark color in there. And then I'm going to apply that right on the outer V area with the 217 and brush it into just that outer V concentrating on the outside. So we'll get some definition there. 
I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the, the color just to get it a little bit darker. Wipe off my brush. Wipe it off. You know? And um, get that excess color off and just blend with the colors already in the crease. And that's what you will have. Pretty easy, pretty simple look. Um, for my inner tear duct area, I'm going to use a MAC 217. And I'm going in with Virgin just on the tip and applying it right under my eye in the inner tear duct area. Woo! Then I'm going to go in, same brush, into the half baked color, which is the golden color we use. Get that onto the tip as well. And run that right on the middle, whoops, the middle lid area. Well, lower lash line area, like that. And then I'm going to go in with smog, which is right next to, is that, no, smog is right here, which is right next to the um, half baked color. Get that right on the tip and do, use that on my outer lid area. So you see we have a lot of shimmer on the lid and then matte in the um, on the brow bone and the crease area um, to kind of bring the look together and not look look like a shimmery you know disco ball kind of thing and I'm gonna wipe up with a q-tip just under my eyelid and right along the outer lid area that's the overall look I'm going to apply the um, the pencil that came with that, the 24-7 Glide On Pencil in zero on my lower waterline, which looks scary on camera. And it scared me when I just started doing it, but it's not too bad. Just like that. And then I'm going to apply Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner. Just a really thin line above, well, on my upper lash line. Really thin line right there. Made it a little bit thicker than I wanted to, but that's fine. It's hard to line on camera, but yeah. So now all that's left to do is apply mascara and foundation, and I'll be right back. Hi guys, so I'm back. I applied my mascara, which is the Hot and Naughty Lash from MAC. And my lip glass, I use one of the Dare to Wear lip glasses. This is Wind Me Up. And it's kind of a bronzy golden color. And that's the result right there. And here's a close-up of the eyes. Yeah, so this is one of the looks from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And, um... For my cheeks, I wanted to stay matte just because I have a lot of shimmer going on already on my lips and on my eyes. So I'm using a Makeup Forever Sculpting Blush in number 24. And it's a raisin type of color, kind of like a orangey rose color. I don't know if that is a good explanation, but I just applied it to my cheeks with um, the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. and. Um, Pictures and a list of products will be on my blog. Leave the link below. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.